Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Matt Wilson, QTE. We're doing part two of our five part series. In part one, we created this automated plan with a few circles, we did a couple features and we did a surface. In this video, we are gonna actually measure it. So to measure this, all we have to do is make sure we're connected to our device. And right here is a play button under auto inspect. If you don't see this auto inspect populate, it's right here. This is how you would turn it off and on. So we can, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We can turn off our device manager. We don't need that on. So we're gonna go ahead and press play. And from here, it's gonna have us do our auto alignment. So go ahead and take our shots. And from here, you can set this up where it automatically accepts. If you look in the top of the screen, right here, auto accept, you can set this up to a tolerance that it auto accepts. You don't need to walk back to the computer. Then you can just state the part and keep measuring. So from here, we are gonna go ahead and accept it. We are good to go. And from here, it just starts measuring. It goes straight into measurements. So we're gonna start doing our circles. And from our circles, it goes over to the slot. And we've got the sphere. And we got our lines for our overall distance. Lines for our angle. And we got our surface across the front. And from there, we're done. And you can also set this up where it does an automatic header. You can auto accept the alignment and as you can set up where it does a automatic report. As soon as you're done, it will spit out a report. So we can take a look at this report real quick. So it's got everything on here. We can, we can do a lot of different stuff with these reports. You can add pictures, we can add all kinds of stuff. But there's a basic report. But you can see how quick it is doing it with an automated plan. It only took us a couple minutes to actually measure the part. So it really does save time if you're doing stuff over and over again. Or even if, just, if you just want to have a programmer that pre-plans these parts for people, then you can just have a button pusher or a target chaser run around and measure these parts, and it's already all set up. So go ahead, and I hope you guys watch the next of our videos. Part three, we are going to change this plan. We're going to add paths. So we're gonna change this plan into a CMM program plan. So we're gonna add paths in here. And then from there, we're gonna run it on the CMM and our part five will be the final of the series going through just reporting and changing settings. So hope to see you guys back. Have a good one.